One year removed from the onset of COVID, and every day we learn more about the virus and its treatments. Patients known as long haulers have ongoing symptoms that won't let up. Here to talk about this is Dr. Dilpreet Carr, a pulmonology and critical care specialist at Wyndham Hospital. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, thank you. So who are the long haulers, and did they have the severe cases of COVID? Long haulers are the patients who got diagnosed with COVID. It could be mild, it could be moderate or severe. They're not just the patients who had severe COVID and were hospitalized. We're seeing a lot of patients who are at home, never needed hospitalization and have been suffering with months and months of symptoms. Uh, they could be having, you know. Oh, they could, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was just gonna detail the symptoms, some of the fatigue, body ache, memory loss, cough, shortness of breath. It could be any of those. So widespread. Okay, what kind of treatments are being offered at your COVID recovery center? What's working? COVID recovery center is something started by Hartford Healthcare in October last year. That's when we realized that a lot of these patients were not able to go to the specialist they needed to. There were a lot of gaps in their healthcare. So this is where they enter and meet a primary care physician who ensures that they get the specialist that they need. They can see a pulmonologist, a cardiologist, a neurologist, or even ENT specialist for loss of taste or smell. Um, they get treated with inhalers, they get tested for low oxygen, any heart problems, and you know, they can get physical therapy if that's what's needed. And a recent survey of more than 900 long haulers revealed that more than 40% saw an improvement in their symptoms after they received the vaccine. Is, that, is there something to that? So I've been hearing a lot of that. I heard about the survey and more reports regarding that. There's no scientific evidence regarding that, but it's being studied. I know about research being done in our state of Connecticut, and I'm sure NIH is studying that. I would say if you had COVID and you have symptoms, you have to get vaccine anyhow to prevent getting reinfected uh, from the variants. So why not go ahead the vac uh, take the vaccine and if 40 to 50% of the people feel benefit in terms of their long haul symptoms, it's a dual benefit. I know, such positive news, really, when we needed yeah. some. How long should someone write out their symptoms before contacting a doctor? I would not wait too long. I think three weeks or more, um, I would get attention just to make sure you're not having major organ damage. And a lot of times, you know, being a pulmonologist, I'm seeing scarring from the disease. You would want to avoid the scarring, get the treatment before it progresses to a stage where it's irreversible. All right, Dr. Dilpreet Carr, thank you so much for great insight on long haulers and the latest with the vaccines, helping with some of their symptoms. We appreciate your time. But, uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, thank, thank you. you.